guys, RGG here and welcome back to another video. So today I've got another technical tutorial video for you. This is how to get the coordinates or the point distance to a certain point of a player in your um, as a score, basically. So uh, that might also sound really fancy and really difficult, but it's actually really easy. And um, uh, before it, yeah, I'll actually start explaining what it is. Let me show you how, it, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain how it, what it is and then how it works. So when I press F3 here, you can see that there is this block. Um, yeah, p point, and that is uh, two and eight. Is my x score is two, my x position in this world is two, and my uh, uh, my z position is eight. And when you look here, you see my z position is eight, and my x position is two, which is correct with this. So I'm not calculating the y because then I have to go in, uh, in top, and that's some a uh, whole other story here. But I'll go like this, and there you see that's that's p perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, that's my coordinates. But you might say, yeah, you just said them. Well, when I move. There you go. They are still correct. 5 and 13. Uh, move a little bit to the left. It takes a little while to update, but it's now 11 and 9, and they both are correct. So there's one problem with this. When I go into negative direction, so it's now minus 12 and minus 9, and then it says 13 and, min and t uh, 10. Um, which you, if you, you can turn them into negatives, but then you have to still add 1 to it. So that's the only struggle with this. Yeah, and it doesn't correctly calculate 0, 0. So this is the system here, I'll explain it to you later. Uh, but when I go over 0, 0, this pillar marks 0, 0, uh, and it tells me 1, 1. That's the only, 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 only problem in this, um, with this contraption. Uh, furthermore, that's it. Let's get straight to building this. So I'll disable the system and we'll show it from scratch here. So. Um, what we need to do first to create this system um, is we need to create a dummy objective. It is a coordinate, I called it, but you can call it whatever you want. But you're not going to see it in chat. So I've displayed it on the side here, but um, if you want to display this, uh, the, the coordinate, you're not going to use this one. It's just called coordinate nut. So it's, it's, it's going to store some values. Let's say that. Um, create it, make it a dummy one, um, and then does it, uh, do it. So activate that first. Uh, then make a scoreboard objective called X. Uh, also a dummy one and then the Z also the dummy one then this is the more technical part do a stats command so this is going to store some data in a uh, in a scoreboard objectives um, so we are going to from everybody for everybody we are going to set their affected blocks so when they activate a command which has something to do with blocks and an amount of blocks it's going to store the amount of blocks it affected into that player's coordinate score. So um, yeah, that basically holds the score. So basically when I do a set block command and I put it right there, for example, I have a coordinate score of one because um, I affected one block and that's that block that I just placed. Um, so yeah, and set the score to zero, otherwise you won't display the score and won't be able to recognize it either. So um, yeah, just do this command here and you'll be fine. Next. Uh, I have disabled the system just for purposes of testing here. So um, execute uh, on every player. So um, you can make this at A actually, uh, just to make it multiplayer compatible. And then we are going to fill, and this is a bit strange, but it does work. Um, we are going to fill from your X and Z location, and then at Y zero. So it's out of sight. It's it's uh, a bedrock level. So it will um, go to bedrock level, and from there to uh, the same x direction um, to uh, the z zero, so it's going to fill from where you are to uh, all the way a straight line to z zero, which is basically the amount of blocks that is between you and x uh, and z zero, which is the amount of x uh, you are away from zero zero. Uh, it's going to fill it with stone zero. Um, after that, we are going to do that same thing with bedrock. Um, and that actually needed to be a one. I did some changes later on. Uh, and here's where the magic uh, kicks in. So um, after this, the stats command update every t uh, every time a command gets executed. So um, our stats command now holds our x uh, amount of blocks. So the coordinate one here holds that value. Then we are going to execute at everybody once again to make it multiplayer compatible we are going to scoreboard player operation so we are going to set a score uh, the same as another score we are going to get our coordinate score and put it in our z so that is now our, um, our z so i messed up a little bit there this is our z um, the amount of blocks we are away from the, the z amount of blocks we are away which is in this case when we here look it's positive z um, and we are how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks away. So it will store seven or eight. I don't know exactly. I think it's eight actually. So 
uh, yeah, that will hold uh, 8 now, or 7, something like that. Um, and then we are going to change the, uh, the coordinate once again. We are doing the same thing, but instead of changing the x now, we are changing the y, uh, or the, the, the z, we are changing the x, sorry. Um, and then we are doing that same thing with bedrock again, and again I messed a little bit up, so I'll uh, provide the correct commands in the description, sorry for that. And then we are, um, uh, we will execute once again, we'll set the score to the same thing again, but this time for x. And this way we don't get a score flickering all the way, so if I now enable this system, you'll see that this score goes totally ham. It goes to 4, 9, 8 and 7. But we want to pick out the number that we want. So it's displaying the, uh, the X and the Z coordinates. So I think it's displaying something like 8 and 3 now. Um, one of those is the X and one of those is the Z. Now, uh, looking at my where I am in the world, I think that the 8 is my Z uh, and the 3 is my X. Um, but that way, uh, because we test it, then we set it, and then we test again, and then we set it again. That way we can actually find that. So um, now if we display our X and Z, we can scoreboard objectives. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Thank you. I'm lagging a little bit. Set display sidebar. Yeah, this system is not uh, very friendly. X, it, 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 because it's filling and replacing blocks continuously. But as you see, my X coordinate is uh, perfectly shown. And when I move near, it's low. Um, and I can do the same thing with Z. There you go. Um, so yeah, the only thing I have left here right, uh, is a system that displays it in one, and I call it chords. So chords um, that displays both scores. That's really easy. Um, I just add the scoreboard here, um, and then I set the um, the score for the player. We call it X. So we set his uh, chords score equal to my score of X, and then we do the same thing with Z, uh, and that displays it on the side here. But that's really easy. As I said, commands will be in the description in a pastebin link, um, and I'll. Yeah, of course, give that to you so you can uh, tinker a little bit with this. But that's how you get the coordinate from a point. Of course, if you want to change that point, just go into this and this command um, and change it to uh, change uh, this coordinate. So that's now a one. That will be everywhere a one. Change that to the coordinate you want. So if this uh, you want a z direction of seven, change this to seven, uh, and you'll now test for whenever it's seven, for example. And then mine to change it uh, the same right here as well. That's what I messed up here. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and this little tip. Um, if you did, a like will both be much appreciated, as well as subscription, of course. If you want more tutorials or have a suggestion, put them in the description down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!